more than 90% of all installed wastewater treatment plants around the world is using a technology that was invented 100 years ago. We typically build these treatment plants outside the cities. Uh, we collect the waste, build pipes, take the water outside the cities, treat the water there, and the further, the better. And the reason for this is that these treatment plants are usually very ugly and they typically also smell. The problem is that these days, there's less and less water around the world and there are very seriously water scarce areas. And as officials are looking high and low for more water so they can provide the ever increasing urban population, they realize that the richest source of water is actually in the wastewater treatment plants. And what follows is that around the world increasingly recognized that the urban water scarcity can be only addressed if we recycle the water. But we just established that all these wastewater treatment plants are outside the cities. It doesn't really make sense to take all the water, treat it outside the cities, so that then we build new piping and maintain all that piping so that we can pump back the treated water into the cities. But who would want to live next to these uh, treatment plants? So here lies the challenge. You know, we need a new solution, a solution that addresses the order problem, addresses the space problem, so it's much smaller in space. It's also something that you wouldn't mind either live or work next door to. And here comes the organic solution. What you see here is a wastewater treatment plant of a community outside Budapest. This is, in fact, a botanical garden. Once you have this solution, you can build these inside the cities, close to where we live, close to where we work. Because these treatment plants are much smaller in footprint, use considerably less energy, produce less sludge, which is an important element in operations, and as you can see, they are aesthetic.